Hello. Hi. Oh, I'm a little out of focus. Look at that. Ooh, up. There we go. Hey, how you doing? I hope hope all your day is going fantastic. We're gonna do some Pathfinder game prep, uh, which means game prep stream is back for a couple of weeks. Now that I've got an upcoming game to run. So, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, we're going to be running uh, Pathfinder 2. Pathfinder 2 Remastered, uh, because I've not tried the Remastered rules yet. Uh, but we got a very special adventure that we're going to be running uh, by Verge Games. Uh, based on a Christmas carol. Here it is right there. Little little Christmas little Christmas carol themed one shot adventure. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, they split the, the the main gist of remastered is yes, it's two books now. Um it's a, a player's book and a GM book, uh, kind of similar to uh, a certain other RPG that we're not going to name right now uh, because we're talking Pathfinder. But, yeah, it's split into two books. In fact, let's load both those books. Um, yeah, it's GM core and player core. Um, and there's a bunch of other changes as well. Um, but I think that the main gist is it, it's split into two. It's laid out a little more, uh, a little more sensibly. And all that. I haven't really had a chance to read through the whole, uh, set of rules so I'm gonna have to do that uh, off stream uh, just so that I know uh, all of the little changes but I know Pathfinder 2 and I, I can't imagine it's that much different to Pathfinder 2 I should say to Pathfinder 2 uh, legacy to the original Pathfinder 2 release I was gonna say, and I think um, the GM core has uh, the the monsters in it, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. I guess it's just some of them. I guess you do still need the uh, the bestiary. Well, let's load that too as well. I guess. Is this the right one, or is there a new one? We'll load this one to see if stuff breaks. Monster Core is coming soon. Okay. That's what I thought. But we'll load this one and it should still run. I'm pretty sure we can still run these old monsters. So we'll have it just in case. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured that the the bestiary would be would be compatible. It's not. There's not. It, it obviously they can make changes to the individual stat blocks of the monster, but if you make core changes to like how stat blocks are done, is it is it even still the same game? I don't know. Don't know if I could <laughs> read through all your rule books. I have that problem too. Um, although I am, I'm more of a less than rule books. I'm more uh, for adventures. I, I just keep buying adventures. Um, both obviously Fantasy Grounds ones, but then also just physical ones like this Christmas Carol one. I have it here in Fantasy Grounds, but I just ordered the uh, the actual book too. Um, all right, so Christmas Carol is an adventure for. A five to seventh level players. 
Um, I think the uh, I think the pre-generated characters it comes with are all uh, fifth level, and we're just going to add all of those just so that I have it set up for my players when they join, so they can pick what they want. I'm just gonna add one of everyone. Did I get the ranger? No, I didn't get the ranger. And the ranger. And the ranger. This way, when players join, they can select a, a character, and it's nice and easy. Uh, yeah. Let's see if the automatic update from Pet. That looks like it. Looks like it updated. What are those jungle bird sound effects? Oh right, it's Christmas time, huh? We gotta have Christmas bird sound effects. I just go to my, I have like one single go-to Sirenscape sound set that I just turn on every time I'm doing something, but you're right. You're right, we're talking like snow and cold. Uh, let's go get some, some nice cold stuff. Let's go get something, something cold. Here we go, hold on. Sounds good to take in a minute. Uh, we'll do this one. That one sounds good. I can't hear it. Oh, it must just be really quiet. There we go. Now. Now it's at, uh oh. Can anybody still hear me? It's an outdoor stream. It is an outdoor stream. Uh, okay. All right, I'm having some audio engine issues. All right. Well, we're going to mute that. Oh, boy, ain't that fun. And sorry about that. Um, my, sp my OBS installation has an issue where if you actually touch... The, uh, the volume sliders, the volume faders, um, it breaks the audio engine. So I think that's what I just did by accident. Um, I didn't mean to touch them, but I did. And it broke stuff. So just give us a second. And I should kick back in. Or not. I don't know. Whatever. We'll, we'll go without the sound, I guess. I guess we have, we have forfeited the ability, the privilege of having audio. All right, let's get back into, um, I don't know if there is, uh, what do you call him? Why did I copy him? I don't know if there is portraits to go with all these guys. Um, I guess I could. I could probably find out. Yeah, all right. 
right. Isn't that fun? Well, we just heard a sound for one second. Um, let's go. Let's go see if we've got. Uh, while we're doing this, let's go see if we've got uh, tokens. Yeah, we'll look for tokens. Christmas Carol. Uh, we have tokens of the main characters, but not of the uh, the guy the. Fighter. So let's just find a fighter. Right, I'm still in Christmas Carol. Just find a fighter token. Um, his name is Donald Scroogle. So let's pick one of these that looks like a Scroogle. Oh, he's a dwarf. All right, that's that makes it easier. Dwarf. This guy. All right, well, that's strange. All right, we'll just we'll just deal with no audio, no background audio. I mean, I can obviously you can still hear my voice. Okay, so we got Donald Donald Scroogle. We got a rogue thief. Uh, we got to update that uh, a halfling. Okay. Uh, a very, uh, a very giddy. What a, what a name, halflings, man. All right, it's a halfling female. Let's see if we got a good one. That one might work. Oh, I should have said hat. Oh, right, we're in. We're getting half elf as well. Let's make sure we do half fling. Like this one might work. Or that one. That one's pretty good. That one looks right. I don't know why there's a copy. Oh, I know why there's a copy. Right, because it's updating the data. Right. Well, we don't need we don't need the copies uh, because they're pre-gen, so we still have them set up somewhere. Um, we've got a human sorcerer. Jane Muck Lanky woman with permanent stains. How do you spell sorcerer? Sorcerer. All right, not very many good sorcerers. Let's just do wizard. Uh wizard and sorcerer are obviously gonna look pretty similar. Fine, we'll just do human. It's a sailor, technically, but that could work. Um, which of these look like they probably have stains on everything?
Because that was the... Well, I guess that's technically the most sorceriest looking one. Let's take that one because uh, obviously she's doing magic. Right. Kermit the Bard. Gonna... Update that. Delete the copy because we don't need it. Uh, Kermit the Bard. Human Bard. Check notes. All right. I'm sure I've got... I don't actually have that many Bards. Guess we'll just look through humans again. Is Derek playing in this one shot? That's a really good question. Is Derek? Um. Oh, by the way, uh, I guess this isn't the greatest place for me to do this, but uh, Paulette, I think River might be joining us. All right, who looks like a bard? I guess this guy kind of looks like a bard. He's too sto. Oh, that guy's that guy's the bard. He looks like Fred Durst. It's just one of those days. All right. Uh, and the reason you might ask, like, why why bother going through this if uh, people are just going to pick a couple of them and not all of them? It's because I have to go through. Uh, updating them to the newest thing anyway so i might as well just update them all and then have them with the new rule set before people uh jump in all right let's try druid although it is a dwarf druid so we might just go dwarf Back to Dwarf. Do we have any descriptive nodes? Uh, wild, wild Beard that's never been combed. Uh, I use this token a lot. I feel like I should not use it because of how much I use it. Come on, do we have a Dwarf that looks like he's... That guy looks like he's never combed his beard. Yep, I guess that's the best one we got. All right, we're almost done. Yep, update to remastered. Close on that. We got an elf cleric. Yeah, it might just be that one. Which one of these elves looks particularly holy? What is he a cleric of? Does it say? Neutral good. <laughs> That's silly. Of course, it's not going to load because it's going to try to load the... Uh, I wonder if we have information on that god from the... Uh, remastered rules right what is this trying to load second edition core rules so it should be in the player core if I can spell it right alright and we'll just Oh, 
Oh, dang. Really? Can we do it over here? I suppose not. All right, whatever. We'll just leave it. It's fine. Which one of you elves is holy? Uh, we'll go that one. Boop, boop. Ranger. Uh, let this be a uh, just a a quick old uh, reminder. If you are playing Pathfinder and you want to update to the new rules, go make sure you update all of your characters uh, because this actually takes kind of a bit of time. All right, we've got a ranger, a uh, human. Well, it says humanoid. Might not be a human. No, it is a human. Ranger. I gotta have a few rangers, right? Guess not. Human it is. Which one of you is rangery? Um, that guy. Delete his copy because nobody needs copies. We've got a wizard. Oh, uh oh. A wizard elf this time. There we go. I guess I it does say that I should be checking the uh, the spells and skills. I probably should uh do that i mean that looks right i think yeah spells are opening so Apply all actions from this what? How does that work? Interesting. Does that really just go through all of it? That'd be cool. Anyway, elf. Female elf wizard. Uh, she's pretty good. Ooh, or maybe this one with the glasses because she's smart because she's a wizard. That's how you do it. I have wizard in there three times. Why is that?
All right, and then let's just delete this last wizard. Okay, I think that's all the pregens. I'm a little concerned that I had the wizard in there three times. No, the wizard's the last one. Okay. So we've got all them set up perfect for when players want to jump on. I'm going to grab probably just a link to the whole story section since we don't have a reference manual for this adventure and drop that there. Um, now the question is, so there's two different versions of this adventure. There's the general walkthrough and a more detailed one. I'll probably go through the more detailed one just because it's for a stream because I think that that will uh, just make for a better for a better stream We've got Ebenezer Scrooge so is there anything in the author's notes turning okay that's just about how he wrote it so let's grab the prologue let's check for do we need any specific um, no, we don't need any specific what you call uh, encounters for this guy. Grab him. Act one. It's a nice short little one shot adventure. It's just based built into three acts. Um, that just kind of it just basically goes through the story. Uh, we got some obstacles. What is this guy? Okay. Why is the damage on this not... Parsing... Why can't I? Why can't I select? I can select the save. That's weird. I can do two d six. Oh, all right, whatever. It's fine. Um, is you need a heal? Blah blah blah. Athletics check. Um. More checked. All right. We've got some more, a uh, lot of skill checks in this adventure. Um, that's okay. I like skill checks. I think they're fun. Okay, it's all cool. We got a little map. Uh, looks pretty good. Let's add some snow to it. All right, we do have lighting, so that's nice. Let's just add a little snow. Up the intensity a little bit, put the amount down, and there we go. A little bit of snow. And what we might do is enable a mask and then just mask the map. And actually, I might even, what is it? Is it shift to unmask? We'll just unmask these two black bars. And then there's only snow on the map. And there, it looks nice. It looks pretty good. Uh, 
All right, so they're trying to break into Scrooge's room. Soon they'll make it out the way up to Scrooge's room on the third floor. Okay, yeah. Um, ooh, I need to get a, a Sirenscape bell sound since the the bells are are chiming. We'll get we'll get that up and running probably uh, next week. We'll work on all the Sirenscape sounds. Oh, speaking of which, um, didn't isn't didn't we do a uh, unless I'm wrong? No, we did a, a Pathfinder, uh, Sirenscape thing. I don't think I have it though, so we'll have to go get that. If it's yeah, okay. Uh, if you'd like to show off the image of the bedroom, I have a line of sight to the bedroom map. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, where is the image of the bedroom? I see the ghost of Christmas past. Uh, school room. Oh, that's the player. Oh, uh, that's the GM. Oh, wow, Act 1 is really long. <laughs> I guess it is just through the whole the whole story though. So, hold on. Yeah, description of the bed, but wait. Um, I guess it's probably in images. Is it just the finale? I guess it is just the finale. All right. Yeah, I don't really feel like I need to... I guess I could add snow to the outside, but I don't think it's worth it. Right, back in. Did I close Act 1 like an idiot? I guess I did. Uh, well, we're going to drag Act 1 right down there. Um, Act 1 is very long. Uh, we might condense some of Act 1. Um, I like the uh, separating encounters based on how many players there are. Who is the creature? Do we have a description of that? No. All right. Hold on. There's a little typo right there. Uh, Spirit says nothing, and the class gets up to leave as you watch him in the back. Too long, his face too perf. And somehow he seems uncomfortable with his own skin, as if more creature than man. The creature then leans down and whispers. Weird. All right. No, that's that's just it. All right. Act two. Um, the next spirit, we're just going to drag that right down there. Uh, Panic screws the cards out. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Don't really, if any players succeed on a perception check, um, one moment, please. So 
Sorry about that. Just pick up Panic Experience Life over Black Friday, thinking of getting the beginner box to mess around with. Pathfinder 2nd Edition, you should do it. Pathfinder 2nd Edition is um, a really, really fun and cool system. Uh, one thing I will say, a beginner box is an amazing way to start, but I think the beginner box is currently with the uh, the old... Uh, because they did, Paizo just released a remastered version of the Pathfinder 2 rules. Uh, so I think the remastered edition is the, the old version of those rules. Uh, but it's still a great place to, uh, to start and get into, to Pathfinder. One second. Yeah, I think, so just, that's just a, that's just a, a heads up. Uh, but obviously the beginner box is still like a, a way cheaper way if you're if you're not sure if you're gonna like uh, Pathfinder and the the adventure in it is is really good. The the little starting adventure is a great way to teach uh, people how Pathfinder works. All right, Christmas present, blah blah blah. We get a little street map. Uh, it's laid out nicely. Let's add some more snow, though. This is this is cr a Christmas carol, and there's honestly not that much snow. Intensity up, but I'm out down. Let's pull the speed down a little bit. And there we go. I guess there was a layer of snow. It was just a really, really subtle layer of snow. Yeah, the beginner box is a really, really good. Good little adventure. I've yet to, to play it or run it yet, but I've read through it and it's it it's it's very fantastically laid out. All right. All right. Each remorse. Okay. So they get jumped by three remorses. Let's actually check what they do. I forgot to check that on the next one. Uh, negative healing. Oh, they have a great shovel, large uh, mechanical devices wrapped on the back of the undead skeleton. Spinning orb sitting on top of it drain draws in illumination from nearby light source. The orb cannot be reached from the ground, but a ranged attack. Okay. Towering skeletons with whatever weapon come in handy. Mysterious. Okay. Interesting. Right, and that's act two, not too bad. And then act three, probably also. Actually, no, it is pretty long. It seems like act one is the longest, though. Uh, track back to the manor. Blah, blah, blah. Christmas future. Not going to read through all of the, the box text right now. Christmas future. Cool. Um, the vision of the future. Right. Encounter three. Do we not have just a straight link to Encounter 3? I guess not. Well, I guess uh, Encounters 1... Actually, yeah, all of the Encounters, I guess, are set up in their own uh, spots, so we'll, we'll drag all of those down to the map as well. I think that's going to be the more important thing for us to read through. And then Encounter 3. So that's... What we're looking at now, we're looking at Scrooge, but as a lich, uh, the goal is to defeat him. Scrooge and the heroes, yeah. So in the future, the Scrooge can only be killed by destroying its phylactery. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to destroy his phylactery uh, while fighting off 
the Scrooge Lich. Entry Hall and Hell. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, do we have... Because obviously here's the encounter. Yeah, let's look at his stat block. What does he got? Uh, initiative is plus 20. Jesus. Uh, a bunch of all stats. He's a lich, I suppose. Frozen heart. Yep. Any creature in contact with the lich takes 3d4 cold damage. Why is some of that not working? Has counter spell, my favorite. All right, let's check his spells. Detect magic, mage hand, red frog. Okay, cool. Oh my god, he's got so many spells. What is this one? Do have blood and and life force deal? Whoa, twelve d six negative damage. All right, Chain Lightning is a classic. Nothing there. All right. Wow. Uh, every reaction would disrupt the Lich's spellcasting. The Lich attempts a DC 15 flat check. On a success, the action isn't disrupted. Whoa. All right, Mr. Powerful Lich. All right. It was awarded pedestal. All right. Oh, for okay. All right, cool. So the there's a pedestal in the in the room. Uh, we just closed it, but let's pull that back up so we can see the map. I think that map, uh, this map link is to the wrong image. Uh, but there's a pedestal in the room, and the players must disable lighting for right now. Uh, walk up to it, but they can't walk up to it because it's got a, a ward around it that causes their feet to freeze to the ground, so it makes it difficult to get to. Neat. All right, and then we get and epilogue. All right, and then what a weird reward. Three coins of Christmas is your reward. An ancient coin, a common coin, and an unknown coin. Summons the spirit of Christmas past who will wait patiently and answer questions of history uh I guess this is this is so that this is for if you're running this as a as an adventure inside of a longer campaign. Interesting. All right, let's go back to act 1 and look at those uh or not act 1, encounter 1. Uh, there's an image of the lies. That's what those are. And let's see what they do. If a lie grapples a target, it immediately begins to uh, seep into them, making it difficult to separate the lie from and its victim. Okay. Caught in a lie when a lie hits a target with a melee attack, they automatically attempt to grapple. Um, 
the target strength score is reduced by 1d4 at the end of each at the end of the lies turn for as long as the grapple continues the target strength is reduced to zero against the dying condition otherwise the target strength can be fully restored by a successful treat wounds check or any form of magical healing all right bizarre undead creature concealing and feeding off truth cool So that's what the the lies are, and we have to uh, to win the to win the fifth lie, which is wraps up around uh, the gift the creature is offering. Young Ebenezer Scrooge must be stopped from hiding the truth. Okay. So you have to you have to pull the uh, or you have to kill the uh, that one. Okay, cool. Act two, not act two, encounter two. What does remorse look like? Those are weird. Skeletons with shovels. All right. And this is the start of the battle. Screws and spirit of Christmas past. Or I look in the window of the Cratchit house. All right. There's a black orb strapped to his bat that powers and drains the light. Must destroy all the black orbs. When the orb is broken, it shatters into pieces. And then remorse is carrying it collapses into the snow. All right. Well, perfect. All right. I think we've got that pretty well set up. It's a really easy uh, adventure to run. If you, by the way, if you are looking for a Christmas adventure or, or just a, a holiday themed uh, adventure to run during uh you know right now uh this one right here a christmas carol uh, it's for 5th edition and for pathfinder 2nd edition um i highly highly recommend it uh looks like there's a link in chat to it but i would i would very strongly recommend checking it out Because it is uh, pretty cool. Especially if you're like me and you really, really enjoy um, A Christmas Carol. I think, it's a, I think it's a great... I think it's a great story. So... There we go. All right. I think we're at the end of the time we have for today. Um, I will be back next... Well, I'll be back on Friday for... Uh, Pentacle Grounds Fridays, but I'll be back next Tuesday to do another one of these. Yes. Let's mute that. Uh, another um, uh, what extensions are recommended for Pathfinder 2nd Edition? I'm currently not using any. Um, I don't know very much about the Pathfinder 2nd Edition extensions. Um, I know there's a lot less than there are for 5th Edition. Uh, so I would probably say uh, try to run your game with just uh, the base rule set. I think it's got all of the features that you would you would need. Uh, but with that, we're probably going to go start a raid on somebody if there's anybody around doing Fantasy Grounds. Um, and we will uh, we'll see you very very soon like I said uh, perfect Paulette's got a raid so we'll we'll go and do that and uh, again come back next Tuesday to see some more game prep we'll be doing setting up sirenscape uh, sounds and getting that ready for us we'll also uh, come back on Friday for fantasy grounds Fridays um saturday uh is josh doing a show this saturday do we know yet we might not know yet potentially saturday for josh's show um and next thursday the 21st the first day of winter for uh this adventure 
Uh, Josh is doing a show this Saturday, so come by for that as well. That's at 3 p.m. Fantasy on Fridays is at 2 p.m. Eastern. And this show will be a 2 p.m. Eastern on uh, Tuesday. Come by at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday the 21st to see this adventure be ran for some Smiteworks folks and uh, some other fun people as well. Uh, beyond that, have an amazing rest of your day. We're going to go do this raid. Stick around, show, show them your fantasy round love. Bye-bye.